Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Nermode on. Officially, I have the next installment of the post commentary kind of gameplay feature thing, I guess you'd call it. Um, today, I think I'm just going to mainly talk about, you know, premium, the premium service. I mean, I know that Close Quarters has already been released, and I know a lot of the information has already been released to the general public and everything, so you guys have probably seen your fair share of uh, videos and heard your fair share of uh, post comments. But um, I just kind of want to give you guys my uh, suggestions, and if you're still kind of sitting there wondering if you should buy it or if it's worth your um, 49.99, 4,000 Microsoft points, or you know, obviously I just said 49.99 for PSN. I don't know how uh, Origin or any of that stuff works, so I would imagine imagine that probably uh, requires your credit card or your approval in order to purchase that. But um, I'm just going to give you guys uh, the main gist of the gameplay and then I'll kind of jump into that topic. Uh, in this game we actually do lose and you, know, you might be wondering why I'm uh, showing you something where I lose. It seems like most of close quarters now, if you're not with a uh, team that uh, has experience or if you're just playing in a team with general, uh, you're going to be losing a lot of games. I've noticed a lot of the guys that pretty much quit playing Battlefield came back to play it. Um, I'm seeing a lot of level 90 guys tons of level 100 so you can obviously tell that they have their experience and this is from Xbox side I don't know how it translates to uh, PC and PS3 but I imagine on PC I imagine every lobby probably has at least six of those guys because uh, I imagine it's a lot easier to level up on PC due to the higher number of players more XP per minute higher scores etc but um, yeah I'm seeing a lot of high levels so it's a little difficult to win games um, at least on close quarters as of right now but um, as I said, we'd lose the game, but I do pull out a pretty good shotgun streak. Uh, I do pretty much sit by A for a majority of the game when I find out that they're constantly running to triple cap. So if you guys are going to say like you're camping or whatever, um, I guess I'd more or less call it uh, holding the flag because uh, I'm still getting uh, rewarded and XP for holding the flag. So I don't see why not. Uh, I would take advantage of the spot that I'm currently located. But let's jump right into um, the premium service. Uh, the premium service will actually give you guys a ton of stuff. If you haven't gotten back to Carcan, this is probably your chance where you probably might want to jump on it. Um, basically, in a sense, you're getting Carcan free if you don't already own it, considering that a majority of the uh, community, anyone that bought Battlefield Day 1 or, um, you know, uh, what do you call it, uh, held on to a copy, and it's not the name I'm looking for, but uh, they reserve their copy. There we go. Um, you got, you know, in a sense, car cam for free when you pre-ordered it. Um, so you get that basically free. You get all the 50 weapons that are going to be provided and assignments throughout the course of being released. You get two weeks early access to all map packs. Um, obviously, car cam doesn't count. But um, as of right now, Close Quarters is actually only released to premium members as I'm taking it now. Um, that's how it made sense. Uh, obviously, when Armored Run... Um, and all those come out, you guys will get a two-week advantage on anyone that just wants to buy it right for the $15. Uh, you get, obviously I said, you get 50 new weapons. You will also get double XP's, uh, double XP um, bonus for every month. You get all kind of character customizations throughout every other month. This month, you obviously you got the box cutter knife, and you got the weapon camos for the F2000. Um, you got the L96. Uh, Scar L and can't think of the LMG. It was the one that I don't use often. I think it's like the PKP or something like that. Uh, that gun sucks in my opinion. But uh, you get those. You get soldier camos. I think we got two of them this time. Nah, they're not really that great, but the uh, little incentives to let you buy it. Um, I mean, if you're really wanting to know if it's really worth your money or if it's a good deal, look at it like this. This is how I'm telling my friends in order for them to make the decision. Do you play Battlefield a lot? If you play, if you find yourself always going to Battlefield and playing it, you're gonna get your money's worth easily, okay? But if you play Battlefield, like if Call of Duty's your your baby, or if you play like racing games, football, or anything else more than you play FPSs or at least Battlefield, I would say um, it's probably not for you, honestly. I mean, unless uh, close quarters sparks an interest for anyone playing Call of Duty, uh, it's gonna play faster than Call of Duty. It's um, pretty chaotic. To be honest with you, it's definitely not for those high, high KDR players. I can tell you that much. Uh, my KD is pretty good, and it, and uh, I'm finding it a little difficult to be pulling those out. But um, for anyone that's wanting just to have a good time, or you know, 
abuse the shotguns or at least get more kills with your shotguns, um, your uh, submachine guns or anything, the PDWs, for sure. This will help you get your, uh, your 500 kills so you can get the little dog tag with the weapon on it. Uh, you'll have no problem with that. Um, as for gameplay perspective of each of these, uh, it obviously gave you new game modes. Some of them are actually not released yet because they'll come with Armored Run, Aftermath, uh, in game, and can't think of what the other one is if there is another one. But um, yeah, those will be released later on. We'll get those, uh, I think, probably when Armored Run comes out, when we get the sneak peek of the AC 130 and the transport vehicles and everything that's been included. Um, that'll talk about that later when. Uh, uh, our, um, armored run gets closer to the release date which will be you know quite a while from now but um, in an actual respect yeah you're getting a lot of stuff okay for 50 bucks it sounds like a lot for anyone that doesn't have a job or any of you guys that uh, don't make you know revenue but if you can you know talk your parents into it or maybe if you have a job and you have the money I mean I would definitely recommend getting it um, it's a lot of fun even though close quarters can be a little frustrating at times, it's still way, way better than any of the other game modes that are currently out right now. It'll for sure keep you on your toes and it'll for sure um, bring back the Call of Duty memories, I guess you would call them in a sense. Um, it sure does play like it. Actually, it almost plays better than it, to be honest. But um, yeah, um, objective modes, you got Conquest Domination and you know you got the Dom, you got the Gunmaster. I think if I'm correct, you can play TDM and Squad TDM on the new maps. Now, Rush is uh, disabled, and Conquest, in a sense, is disabled because they replaced it with Conquest Domination, which plays pretty much like um, Domination and Conquest, obviously. Um, kind of combined into one. You still have the bleed effect, but you still need to be able to capture flags in order to get the bleed effect and get the full... Um, you know, the benefits of uh, holding the two out of the three flags or holding all three. Um, so that's my general thoughts. You know, I know this gameplay is not the longest in the world, and I told you guys that it was obviously a loss, but in my mind it was close. You know, they were only leading by 20 some tickets, and my phone's going off right now. But um, yeah, I definitely recommend it if you pl if you find yourself playing Battlefield more. I'm sure you'll get a um, for anyone that's more in the tactical side. Armored Run is probably going to be your your uh, game type. You'll probably be more interested in. And later on, you know, you'll have the more uh, things that come out, you know, Aftermath and Endgame. And uh, not much has been said about those yet, but I'm sure, I think if it's if I'm correct, Endgame has motorcycles and etc. that'll be released in it. Obviously, you'll get the new guns every day, they, or every uh, map pack that come out. So that'll always uh, be good and that'll spark some interest in the game, even if you do uh, choose to go play Call of Duty or, you know, what, what have you. Uh, when the new games release, such as you know Assassin's Creed and all that, you'll still be getting your money's your money's worth, and you're obviously saving money if you buy premium. If you didn't get Car Canned, you're saving I think it's twenty five dollars. If you did get Car Canned, you're saving um, obviously ten dollars. So uh, it's a pretty good save, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next installment. Peace.